Right, so this is for changing the, the, the height of the rear sets. You've got two, two points on the front. These are the default ones. You can see the blue still got the, uh, the thread lock in them from the original fittings. Uh, there's another set down, and there's also two sets at the back here. So it's basically, um, as I understand it, a couple of combinations. You can either go in here, here where I've dropped it down to, or right at the back. I think it's possible also to do uh, two other combinations, one going on the top bolt and the back bolt, spreading across, which is going to just bring the peg further back out uh, and up, and also in the same direction, I think, from this bolt to the bolt here, which is going to bring it up and back a bit. Um, I've gone with, initially, I've just dropped them because I wanted to see what the ergonomics would be like, and I'm actually not all that comfortable with it problem that I've got now is that I've just sheared these bolts, um, which is just bloody typical. So one of the biggest problems with these is that these bolts, um, this is this is very typical of Suzuki, it's not strictly a standardised size, these are 5.5 mil, um, so if you've bought an Allen tool like, like I've got, or you've got a set of Allen keys, like basic set of Allen keys, they don't necessarily go with any of the kind of common um, middle measurements. So the, this has resulted in the problem of that I think this top one is now basically completely sheared um, and I'm going to have a good job getting that out because there's thread lock on the on the screw as well. Um, so that's how you adjust the rear sets on a GSXR 600 2014 model. Okay, so this is how to set up the um, shift change lights on the GSXR 600. This is a 2014 model, so that's an L4. It's the same as all of the other previous L models, is that you hold the select button down, give it a couple of seconds, and then turn the ignition, run through the sequence. Once the sequence is finished, you'll see that we've got here set up, it's showing the uh, brightness indicators. Hit the adjust button, and we can now see we're now into the sequence of how do you want to run it. So now we can see we're going to get it so that it flashes. No lights. Running lights. Hit select again. Hit the adjust. It's going to change the brightness of the change lights. I'm dropping them down. And bring them up. So I'm just going to put them the same as the dash. Hit select again. We're now into the section of like where it's actually going to hit it in the rev counter. So at the moment it's at 1300. And then if you keep hitting the adjust, you'll see that it incrementally goes up notch by notch. If you hold it in, it'll crawl up. Once it gets to the top, it'll drop back down to the bottom. And then we can do some step changes here. Bring it up. So I'm going to set it at 13,000. I want that to start showing me some lights. And then here you'll see this is where the step changes are going to start to change. We've got 250, 500, or 1000. So that's the increments between these lights. So 500 revs, so that's going to start sort of around there, or 1000 revs, and it's going to sort of jump. These lights are going to come on at each thousand, or 250, so it's going to be really quick. Chup, 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 chup. So I'm going to set those to be at 1,000, which means that it's set to change limit at 13. So the first yellow light will come on, and then the second, third, and then the white light. That's it. We're at 13,000 revs. And that's how you set the rev count on the GSXR 600 2014 model.